Hello once again, my name is Maciej Gostaszewski. Uh, I work in National Information and Processing Institute. And I would like briefly to um, talk about the results of the survey we conducted in last year, aiming to measure what Polish uh, scientists think about open science. I would like to give you a basic taste of what we have done, because we don't have much time. Uh, so motivation. Uh, as you probably know, Poland is only recently entering the path towards implementation of open science. We could observe many organizations, uh, associations which try to inform wide public what open science is about. Um, but I think we uh, still deal with the problem of uh, lack of discussion about open science issues and similar to this lack of any um, service dedicated to those issues. So we decided to change the situations and to diagnose uh, on the basic level of what Polish scientists think about open science. Uh, uh, a study was based on e-questionnaire, which was sent to over 24,000 of Polish scientists holding at least a PhD and registered in uh, uh, our dat Polish database, which is operated by our institute. In the questionnaire, we address four thematic groups of questions referring to open science, general issue, open access, open data, and science 2.0. Uh, we received 849 completed uh, questionnaires. Uh, unfortunately, 500 respondents dropped it out after starting. So uh, right now, I would like to give you uh, first uh, the, um, I, would, I would like to show the results of the survey and first, the overall community attitude. Mm. The first part of the questionnaire was uh, dedicated to open science, general notions. We confronted scientists with different statements referring to what open science is, uh, what are the consequences of adopting open science in Poland. But we especially wanted to know uh, mm, uh, if scientists have ever met up the concept of open science. And as you can see, 70% uh, of scientists have met up the concept of open science. Of course, the knowledge among them is different, but what is interesting here is that uh, almost 30% uh, have never met up this concept. And in connection to this, as so a term, open science, I can say, is quite well known among uh, Polish scientists. Uh, the natural question follows whether it is treated as a good tendency or rather bad tendency. And as you can uh, see, uh, scientists think that uh, open science uh, could be very beneficial for the development of the research field. 81% of scientists think so. But of course, open science is not a general notion and not an abstract idea and it's implemented in a very concrete way. And uh, not surprisingly, one of the most uh, recognizable dimension of open science is open access. And uh, in the survey, we confronted scientists with different statements referring to positive and negative aspects of open access, I should say, some stereotypes. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, scientists almost share rather positive than negative opinions about open access. Uh, uh, they think that uh, open access contributes to rising international visibility of Polish science and what is crucial that uh, open access provides wide information on research already done and such a recognition prevents from repeating uh, uh, research. Um, of course, uh, they find some drawbacks such as high fraction of poor uh, quality publications due to the lack of peer review verification. And the conclusion from those parts of uh, questions is that uh, open access is view uh, rather refer open access rather refer to science as a whole uh, uh, and less to individual perspective of science of scientists. It is also interesting that uh, mm, even though scientists share rather positive opinion about open access they seem not to believe that others are ready to, to adopt these models. So, as you can see, 70% of scientists think so. And when we take a better look on the aspect of active participating in open access, we could find that those positive declarations are not so directly linked. And 
there's still a large group of scientists who have never published their work in open models. And uh, another crucial dimension of open science is, of course, open data. And we thought at the beginning that uh, maybe those issues would not be positively recognized because of a lack of uh, uh, supporting action from Polish government and discussion about those issues. But however, uh, as you can see, scientists think that uh, access to research data should become a rule um, and obligation rather than act of goodwill. Uh, and similar to this, uh, scientists almost unanimously think that uh, sharing data from research work is beneficial uh, for the discipline. Uh, of course, uh, they have some constraints about uh, uh, revealing data. Uh, they fear that uh, data could be wrongly used or, or misinterpreted by other scientists. Almost half of them share such opinion. But uh, fear of access to data is compensated by a strong tendency to consider lack of access to data as the main source of problem in science. 71% of scientists think that without access to research data, the inquiry is less effective. Why uh, 60 uh, 63 uh, that uh, it may cause a serious slack in research uh, process. And what is interesting that both for, for positive and negative opinions, uh, there, are, there is still a large group of scientists who don't know about those issues. Uh, and the last part of the questionnaire was dedicated to Science 2.0. We all only addressed few questions. Uh, for example, we wanted to know if scientists think that it could be beneficial for the science, and as you can see, they think so. And also, if they, uh, we ask question if they will join to a social network platform dedicated for the, for the research field, and as you can see, uh, they also have a positive opinion about it. So, so uh, overall community attitude I presented gives only basic information of what uh, um, uh, scientists think about open science and in order to disclose more interesting relations between variables there was need to carry out more advanced statistical an analysis. So our main goal was to find out how attitude towards open science depend on independent uh, variables. Uh, we uh, made a presumption uh, that the uh, attitude towards open science could, could be discussed in three main aspects. Cognitive means knowledge about uh, open science, behavioral me means participating in open, uh, m open science models, and affective means emotions and feelings about open science. And we, uh, we had the presumptions that they will depend on independent variables, and we had some intuitions and hypotheses, for example, participating in international research project will positively affect the knowledge. And uh, because uh, in the survey we uh, asked many questions which could be treated as referring to uh, dependent variables, there was need to reduce the number of variables. And we applied um, a standard factor analysis, first aim uh, to, to, to reduce the number of variables, and second to detect the underlying structure between them. And we uh, applied the factor analysis to those variables which cover those three main aspects. And we detected that um, uh, uh, three factors, knowledge about open science, positive, positive opinions about open access, uh, and uh, pu publishing in open access. And right now I'd like to show you uh, the model. In the first model, you can see how opinions, positive opinions about open access are shaped by independent variables, predictors. And what is important here is uh, the, the, the green arrow means positive tendency, positive effect, and the red negative. And also the thickness of the arrow is also important. The more thick arrow, the more, the more great effect we observe. And as you can see, uh, representative of arts are, are, uh, and humanities are those who are more likely to support uh, open access, and they, are, they have a positive feeling towards open access. 
Uh, and in the second model, we try to find out how knowledge is shaped by predictors. And uh, uh, one of the most important predictors here is participating in international research project. Uh, those who participate are more uh, know more about uh, open science. And in, in the third model, you can see how publishing depends on in, uh, independent variables. And here, two, I think, are crucial participating in international research projects and uh, scientists from exact science. And yes, uh, so th there is a connection between uh, participating and uh, when you participate, more often you, are, you publish more. And uh, representative uh, of exact science are also those who publish more in uh, open access. And in the last model, we try to measure how uh, these uh, new factors mutually interfere with each other. And uh, we found that knowledge is one of the key factors here, and uh, which very, uh, very strongly influence publishing in uh, open access. And uh, to conclude, uh, I think that, uh, as I said, that uh, Polish research community, this particular one, is, uh, is support uh, very strongly open science. Of course, there's a problem, what does it mean open science, as we already discussed about it. But uh, we, could, we observe that open access is one of the most recognizable dimension. Other key aspects like open data and science have still somewhat limited visibility. And, uh, and we need uh, to, to conduct more survey, especially uh, uh, qualitative, uh, because I think we are at the beginning of the process of studying those issues. So, thank you.